It is 649. This is your morning in eight minutes. Fire crews making major progress fighting two wildfires in Sevier County. Right now, the Hatcher Mountain wildfire is 98% contained and the sun is starting to rise in the area as people begin to assess the damage. You're taking a live picture right now, taking a live look at that of just what kind of destruction people are returning to today. And this cleanup process has only started. As Sevier County officials say it spans nearly 2,500 acres. The fire three people are hurt, but there are no deaths to report. All affected areas are now open, but if you are headed that way, be sure to use caution as emergency crews are still working. A no fly restriction will remain in place for Wares Valley and Chihaui Mountain through Thursday. And images from the wildfires continue to show just what fire crews were up against. Sevier County firefighter Jim Carr and five others were battling flames at the Von Bryan Inn at the top of Hatcher Mountain. The flames trapped him circling his tanker truck. I made my final video. My, fine, my end of life video for my family, my friends. He had just about lost all hope and he got a call from his wife and a friend and he told him that he, he told them that he was trapped. They advised him to use a thermal device, which helps firefighters find cooler areas. He was able to get out and find his colleagues. Meanwhile, another wildfire burning in the Seymour area near the Blunt and Sevier County line is 60% contained this morning. Sevier County officials say the Millstone Gap fire covers 678 acres. So far, no one is hurt in this fire and two structures are affected. Cold Springs Hollow Road remains closed this morning. And a lot of people looking for ways to help those impacted by the fires. Donations are being collected at the Sevier County Fairgrounds. They're asking for things like water, non-perishable food, hygiene products, and new clothes. If you drop them off, you can drop them off all week from 9 to 5. And if you need some of those items, you can start picking them up starting at 9 o'clock this morning. If you'd like to make a donation, we've got a link to do so right now on the WVLT News app. And right now, officials are looking for 72 year old Daniel Dewey. He was last seen in Knoxville on March 23rd. The TBI issuing a silver alert. Dewey has a medical condition. If you see him, you're asked to call police or the or TBI 1-800-TBI-FIND. And one person is in critical condition after an ATV accident. This happened at on private property on Elkins Valley Road and Halls. The person involved in the crash is at UT Medical Center after being flown there last night. Investigators this morning are working to find out what caused this car crash on Saturday. This happened on Old Rutledge Pike at Shoemaker. Rural Metro says the driver was pinned inside the car. Crews were able to rescue them and took them to UT Medical Center. At last check, that person is in critical condition. And a woman's recovering after a fire at the Summit Tower Apartments. It's out now, but seven people are out of their homes after the kitchen fire set off the sprinkler system on the fifth floor. The woman suffered from smoke inhalation and doctors treated her at the hospital. The Red Cross is now helping those affected. And right now, the TBI says a man is in critical condition in McMinn County after being shot by police. It happened in Athens. On Sunday, investigators say a man pointed a gun at officers and two deputies shot the man. He was flown to a local hospital for treatment. No officers are hurt. The TBI is now working to find out what led up to that shooting. An important recaller for you this morning. Two kinds of Disney themed hand sanitizers are being recalled due to ingredient concerns. The products are from Best Brands Consumer Products Incorporated. They feature several Disney characters on the bottles and health officials say they found benzene and methanol in the inside these that can cause some serious health problems. If you have the sanitizer, throw it away. And another recall for a baby rattle. It's made by the company Play Monster. It looks just like this. They say the rattle's legs can break off, posing a choking hazard for kids. There's been three reports of the legs breaking off, but no one is hurt. If you have one of these, take it away from your child and contact the company. You can get a refund. A bill to lower insulin costs is headed for an uphill battle in the Senate after passing in the House. The Affordable Insulin Now Act would lower the price of insulin and cap it at $35 a month. That goes for both private and Medicare in terms of health insurance plans. According to a new report, the current cost for insulin is between more than $300 to $1,000 a month. Well, today is your last day to register to vote in this year's Knox County primary election. You can drop off new registration forms at the Election Commission's office on Main Street or Level Heights Road. You can also register online. The deadline is midnight. And nearly 100 of the world's best golfers are in Augusta this week for the Masters. Here's a look at Tiger Woods on the practice range. He said it's going to be a game time, game time decision 
on if he will play or not. Coverage starts on ESPN Thursday and Friday morning, then picks up right here on WVLT Saturday and Sunday. And WVLT is proud to be your official station of the Vols. Tony Vitello and the top-ranked Vols baseball team back in Knoxville after sweeping the Vanderbilt Commodores for the first time since 2009. Tennessee now takes its 19-game winning streak for a midweek matchup against another in-state opponent in Lipscomb tomorrow night. The Vols will then stay at home for a weekend series against Mizzou. Getting a look at your first alert traffic, we got some flashing lights and vehicles in the right hand shoulder of I-40 westbound, but the good news is no lanes there are blocked. Just want to use caution if you're headed that way. That's the only incident we're following as you're just now getting out the door, but we want to let you know that coming up at 9 o'clock, road work is going to start on I-75 southbound in Campbell County, just south of the Caribou exit. One lane will be closed as crews work to install a trench drain in this area. This is going to affect traffic around the clock until Friday, so if you're headed this way, expect a leave. Your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. Good morning, 655. Now on your Monday. Big ups and downs continue as we nudge up the temperatures really right around average. We're kind of just above it today, right at it tomorrow. Crank up the heat on Wednesday and well, that's storm fuel. That's why we have that first alert weather day highlighted on Wednesday with the evening storms. Temperatures will come down behind that cold front. There, there is a Friday plotted here. It's just so low as we end the week chilly. So for now, we're bringing in the clouds, but only a couple of showers. Humidity still got to go up. Then we'll catch some rain and rumbles of thunder for your Tuesday afternoon. Think of that as a warm front. Warm air comes in behind it. That fuels the conflict there with that cold front. More downpours and storms than Wednesday with that first alert weather day highlighted for your evening hours. Damaging wind, the main threat. I do think we'll get some hail out of some of these storms, but an enhanced risk, which you can see highlighted here, that is, means multiple severe storms are possible. Isolated severe storms for the north northern half of our areas that line will be cutting through a tornado can't be ruled out very active weather on the way so right now we're just kind of easing into this Monday cooler all right now we got the clouds coming in it's 40 in Knoxville to 32 Middlesbrough to 44 Crossville looking at your planner for the day ahead if you want to get outside just breezy but nudging up those temperatures nicely to 60 at noon and a high today of 72 we do have just a couple of showers again moving in with those clouds today but i'll show you the latest track of those storms for this week coming up on the cw in the All next right, hour so i'm going to enjoy today yeah. take in ease into it like you said just yes. like getting in the baby pool right we're headed over to wbxx <laughs> warming up we for that. hope you have a good monday <laughs>